So he kicked your ass or whatever he done? No, it's not that, mate. It's... Basically, fucking... He got involved with some girl that's slightly immature and told him that she was 20 years old when in fact she wasn't. And basically, she showed her fanny to him and the worst mistake he did was to take pictures of it and he's put it up all up online and it turns out she's a minor and her mother and father have gone to the police and her two brothers and her father, they want to rip his head off. That's the girl that he's been talking to, isn't it? Little terror. I know her family very well. My family knows her family from London. And I know what his family is capable of. And it's not oh, going to be good. What's that? Why the fuck did he do that, man? Well, in some ways, in his defence, if I was a, a legalised solicitor, in his defence, I could honestly say it wasn't his fault for not knowing. He didn't know no, 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 her real no, age. No, no, no. But what to do what he did, he shouldn't have done it in the first place. Well, because, well, what happened was, she sent them to, yeah, she sent them to him over group chat and didn't realise that what he does. And of course, he took pictures. She's obviously rejected him or something at some point, And he's took it the wrong the wrong way and out of hesitation he's put it back up on group chat so, so yeah so in his defense I can honestly say hand on heart that he didn't know her age well, and I kept well, saying to Maka stop doing this when and you see it, I get her on this thing, no one knows her age because <coughs> the, 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 the girl's actually matured me. So. Oh, I, I mean, I knew. I know anyway because I know her family. But. Yeah, but did you tell him? Oh, yeah, I kept telling him. I said, Macus. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not until after. I knew what was going on. And that's when I warned him. I said, Maka, get rid of those pictures. Get rid of them now. And he wouldn't listen. And he wouldn't listen. I said, Maka, I'm going to say it once as a friend. And I'm not going to say it again. Next time I say it, I will say it as an enemy. And he, he still wouldn't listen. Oh, she's 20 years old. I said, Maka, she's not 20 years old. I said, she's probably about 17, 18 years old now. I said, but she is not 20 years old, I can quite assure you. Oh, how do you know this? Well, considering my mother used to look after her nan, I know exactly who she is. Because many years ago, this was before Paige was born, but her... Her mum and her stepdad used to live in Kilburn, in London. And her father knew my my stepfather very, very well. Um, oh, I won't see it. Marcus put it up as in a bit banter. Yeah, well, it's not banter. It's no, not a joke. No, no, it's not a joke, right? But that's why he's put it up but as in banter. But I've got yeah. to use the with them, you know what I mean? Because I'm all back up there, right? Like, so carry on. But what he doesn't realise is now it's become very, very serious. Yeah, well, there's only one person that will pay for it, um, Daniel. It's him. Well, I've warned him anyway. Because if he'd had left it over a week and a half ago, then pictures would have just fizzled out. They would have just faded away. But no, he put them up there again. In fact, he put them up there again tonight. I said, the first I said time, to him. Uh, first time I ever met Marcus. 
and I was, I was telling someone about my daughter. Um, I think you were there. Yeah. I mean, no, I didn't think you were there. Um, we started coming out with carry on and I'd dig her up and shag her, we'll dig her up and shag her and things like that. Do you think I'm going to forget about that, man? Maka is very immature for his age, extremely immature. And it, he will end up, he, he don't realise it, but he's going to end up with a fucking good hiding. It's going to, uh, and in fact his cousins are very immature as well. Yeah, all his right. family are immature. They're all immature for their for their ages. Is Carl Carl related to him? Yes. Cog Carl Ashton Ashton, Ashton C B two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Ashton is in his neck. He's up to his neck in shit. He is. Carl, he, he's a, he's a, I don't mean Carl, but Ashton, that's a wanker. Oh, Ashton, he's up to his neck in it, mate. He works for illegal gambling rackets and everything. It's only a matter of time before he gets caught, and he'll, he'll end up doing a lot of bird. He's going to end up doing a lot of bird. He's like another prime. He thinks he's untouchable. But he'll learn, and he's going to learn the hard way. Yeah, when you're young, you do stupid things. As you get older, you get wiser. Exactly. Exactly. We've all been there, Daniel, but I would never do what he... I would never say what he says. Come on, I'll dig your daughter up and shag her. Oh, what? Exactly, exactly. Fuck I mean, you. I know I've had my ups and downs, even with you, with you and other yeah, people, yeah. but I don't, I don't say fucking shit like that. I respect the dead, because I oh, know no, the dead no, are no. fucking powerful. The dead yeah. have got more power than we have, and mm -hmm. I don't ever cross the dead. I don't ever, ever cross the dead. There's one thing I learnt in this life. It's like my old man always said to me, if they never hurt you when they're alive, they're not going to hurt you when they're dead. But you cross their paths, that's, that's, you're fucked. That's what exactly my mum says to this day. Um, what's this, what is what she says? The dead can't harm you, only a living can. Well, but that, all right, fair enough, it's true dead. in itself, but... I'm I'm afraid I believe that the dead the dead can still harm you. Oh yeah. I do that believe in that. I do believe in that. Oh yeah. I mean they can't physically harm us in the physical world but no, 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 no. Oh yes. Yeah. They can get inside your mind and there's no way mm. I would ever ever allow that. Even when I go to the cemeteries I don't stand on people's graves. I walk in between them oh, or behind them, but I don't ever, ever, ever walk on someone's grave. Never. Even if I know them or I don't, you do not ever, ever walk on a grave. It's respect. All right, you can't help it if you accidentally go backwards onto one, but you still say your respects, you know what I mean? Oh, you yeah, know, but yeah. at the end of the day, you don't cross the dead. Mm -mm. I believe in I don't care what people think. They might think it's stupid superstition. I don't give a fuck no, what people no, think. I, I'm the same I'm as we are. I won't walk over that grave. No fucking way. I mean, we all, we've all, I mean, we've all accidentally yeah. trodden on a grave. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, but that's a different thing. They forgive when you. I when I go to my daughter's grave and I tidy it all up, I walk in between the other ones, um, but I won't walk over as it. Exactly. I believe that the dead guard themselves, mm -hmm. and I don't ever cross paths with them. I don't ever do that, because at the end of the you day, don't, you know, it's you just something you don't do. You don't talk ill of the dead, Food stops. Exactly. Exactly. 
You know, at the but end of the day, we can, all, we can all say stupid things, we can all say dumb things about the dead, but at the end of the day, you just you just don't do it. You just don't do it. Because I believe... They're a higher power. Exactly. They're a lot higher than us. Yeah. Just because we can't always see them, feel them, or hear them, they're still but about. They are still, still about. Them. Ashton and Maka, that's the way I make those two bastards. Oh, mate, I wouldn't worry too much about them because Maka's got the police coming his way. So I wouldn't oh, worry too well. much about him. Yeah. Mate, seriously, her parents have gone to the police. Seriously. What's he is fucked. Yeah, it's what? Really but it's out of order. Yeah, and I, it's not it. as though it's not as though I'm covering up for a paedophile, because I don't mm. think he's a paedophile for anything in the world. But at the end no, of the day, but at the end of the day, I've told him on more than one occasion. I said, Maka, get rid of those photographs and get rid of them now. He goes, why? Because I said, bruv, her parents have gone to the police. I said, they see those pictures up there, bruv, you're fucked. You will be on a sex offenders register, probably for a very long time. I said, you wouldn't be able to walk outside your door with your head up held high, bruv, if some cunt around there found out that you're on a fucking sex offenders register. I said, you do that, bruv, you'll get your head smashed in, you get your head, you get your house burnt down. I said, come on, bruv, use your head. Oh, yeah, I'll fucking take them on and all this stuff, bruv. I said, what are you going to do? Take on the whole of Coventry, bruv. They'll kick your they're family's heads so, in. You wouldn't be safe. They're, they're all starting to leave the party now. Yeah, they will do. Because they know it's the truth. I've got it, bruv. Yeah, they've been putting it on the group chat on Messenger. Seriously? Seriously, bruv. Fucking shit. I can hear your own daughter. What's that? That could be that could be my daughter. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I don't know what her real dad's like. I've never met her real dad. Never. I've only ever known her stepdad and her mum. And that was when I was growing up, when I was her age. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? But I tell you what, I tell you what, her stepfather alone would batter the shit out of him. And there's nothing I can do to help him. They want to kill him. And I'm also not surprised, bruv, wouldn't you? If someone was taking photographs of your kids... Oh, of course. Of course. I'd fight if someone did take a picture of my son. But that was my neighbour taking a picture, but I would have known in a lack of this country. That's all I can say. There's a difference between when someone sends them to you, or you've gone out and, and deliberately taken them. That's what I said to Maka. I said, that's the difference. I said, the police have only got to look into your system. They'll know if you've received them or you've sent them. Receiving them, that's you can't get into trouble for. You can't get into trouble for receiving them. But if they find out so you've been sending them, them, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. I said, even if you've received them, then you send them. You're fucked. Either way, you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Hang on, put Black Ops 3 on. I'll give you a game of Black Ops 3. Give me, give me, what, give me two minutes. I'm just going to make a hot toddy, mate, because I've got the flu. I'll be two yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to make a cup of coffee myself, bro. I need to keep myself right. awake, so I've got shit to do today. Okay, sweet. So two minutes, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>